Scientists have spent decades and billions of dollars on this quest. They've built giant atom-smashing machines to probe how the four fundamental forces actually work. They've found that down at the microscopic level, billions of times smaller than atoms, forces are actually caused by the movement of tiny particles. Electromagnetism is carried by photons. The strong force is carried by particles called gluons. The weak force by particles called the W and Z bosons. But they've never found the force carriers for gravity. The elusive gravitons. And that's where their efforts to unify the math of the universe are stuck. I was working on just how this whole algebraic structure fit together of gravity and the other forces. And I started to wonder if this thing could be understood as a whole. If this entire structure could be described as part of some larger Lie group. A Lie group is a mathematical shape that is a collection of circles twisting around each other in a specific pattern. Now, the simplest Lie group is just a circle. Now, if you take a second circle and you wrap it around that inner circle, keeping it perpendicular, you get what's called a torus. looks like the surface of a donut. But if you take a third circle and keep that perpendicular to the other two, and you twist it around the inner circle as you wrap it around, you can get all three of those circles to twist around each other to form a three-dimensional shape. But this is only the beginning. Garrett kept on twisting circles around one another until he'd done it 248 times. The end result is a shape so complex that it can't even be fully appreciated in three dimensions. It's called the E8 Lee group. To us, it's just a mind-bending pattern. But Garrett Lisa realized the way the circles twisted around one another looked just like the way various fundamental particles interact. In physics, each one of these circles can be associated with a different kind of elementary particle. One circle could correspond to electrons, the other circles could correspond to the force particles, such as photons, or weak force particles, or strong force particles, the gluons. For months, Garrett turned this kaleidoscope over and over in his mind, and then it hit him. He found a set of circles that seemed to act like the never-yet-seen graviton. And for the first time in the history of physics, a mere mortal saw how gravity might fit in with all the other forces and particles. You know, seeing how gravity can, could be combined with these other Lie groups during this unification was one of the greatest moments of my life. Garrett calls this dizzying geometrical relationship between all the particles and forces in the universe an exceptionally simple theory of everything. It predicts several as yet undiscovered particles, and scientists across the world are on the hunt for those right now. One is the most sought-after particle in all of physics, the Higgs boson. There are some parts that are in this larger group that are not clearly these elementary particle forces, but what they are is exactly what you need to describe the Higgs field. And the Higgs field is this geometric particle field that gives masses to all known elementary particles. And it's exactly the missing puzzle piece you need to tie everything together. The exceptionally simple theory of everything could finally offer a blueprint of the entire universe. This dizzying geometry might also be divine geometry. A unified math that created you, the stars, everything in the known universe. It's much more satisfying to me that this bit of geometry could have come into existence than to imagine some complicated creator with some sort of personality and complex structure brought this simple thing into existence.